What's up everyone, Maury Croson here with the Performance Lab of California doing another breakdown here today on Tyrese Cooper. He is a, I got a, a recommendation for, for Tyrese Cooper, it was an excellent recommendation, this kid is a, is a stud, um, you know, I'm not, not super up in the, in the track game, he's really a young, a young guy, but he, he looks like he's going to have a lot of potential, he's only a sophomore, 10th uh, grader in high school and, and is really doing um, some, some big, big things. You know, there's a couple things that he has that are just great advantages. He's a little bit longer um, as an overall athlete, and he also um, are, are taller overall. Um, and, he, and he's just blessed with with just a uh, a lot of natural kind of um, springiness. You know, watching some videos, there's a lot of stuff with him doing backflips and things like that. So um, there's some some good things that he, he's able to bring to the table. One of the things though is as he gets older, he's going to really have to refine his mechanics, and that's what we're going to really talk about here today is what are some of the, the key differences that he can improve on in order to really help out his, his printing mechanics, okay? So, watching the video, um, what, we, what we see here is kind of that whole transition phase, and as he gets into um, sprinting straight ahead, we can see, you know, one of the things that, and, and it's very common, right, that um, we, we talked about this, the, the most common thing that you're going to see um, between elite sprinters is going to be very similar kind of lower body movement. Uh, there's some things he does in the lower body that we can improve on. Um, the second most uh, similar is going to be how their hips and core move. And then the, the third thing that's going to be the, the most variation is going to be how the arm swing. Okay, And so Tyrus Cooper has a, a little bit of an interesting arm swing that he lets that, ar that right arm kind of get away from him as he's going back there. So as he's letting it go back, the right arm kind of, uh, or actually it's kind of both arms kind of go out to the side kind of swings his shoulder, he has got kind of wide shoulders. Um, he's very big on that left arm swing, that left arm swing bringing it back really helps him open up that core, really helps him really drive that right leg through as he's coming forward. Left, or sorry, the right one he's not able to get back as much as and able to rotate as well. He doesn't get as good of a, of a leg drive from the, the left leg or as powerful of a leg drive with the left leg, but he does get a really good push off with that right leg as he's going through. Now when he's landing, you can see that on the left side, he kind of has this twist here where he lands and kind of turns out. That's gonna be something he's gonna need to correct because that's gonna end up either causing some ankle problems or some, some uh, hamstring problems on the left side. So he's gotta be able to control that a little bit better on that left foot. You can see right before he lands how he turns out like that. He's gonna put a lot of pressure there on the hamstring, something he definitely doesn't wanna have going forward. Now he's going the right side. We can now watch how the right foot lands. See how the right foot's a little bit better. It doesn't go in and turn out as much. Um, either way, he does a great job of having really good, uh, again, springing his bounciness. He doesn't spend very much time on the ground for each one of the steps. He's very much just, you know, just tap, 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 which is excellent. That's exactly how you want to be as a sprinting athlete. You want to not spend very much time from one step into the, the next step, okay? But now, when, again, we go into the left side, you can see how he has a little bit more kind of rotation on the left one. He, he spends a little bit more time on the left, uh, on the ground on the left side because of how he rotates there in the foot, something he's gonna, again, definitely need to impro improve on in order to make it so um, he can resist injury going forward, okay? Um, again, and then arm swing wise, I mean, he can improve it. He can make it so it's a little bit more clean, a little bit uh, better from right to left. You know, he gets those elbows a little bit away from him, but also, you know, on the opposite side of that, he does an excellent job of stretching out the pecs, okay? So, you know, if you look at him and, and how wide he gets his, his shoulders and how much he rotates side to side compared to, you know, the guy next to him, you can see that he, he is generating a, a lot more power and a lot more uh, momentum because of how, how much extension he gets in the arms, okay? See how far back he gets there, how much extension he's, he's getting into, Okay, compared to this guy here and how much extension he's getting into. And that he doesn't end up beating him by that much, um, but it ends up being a, you know, something that you can look at and say, okay, you know, I do need to add a little bit more extension into, into my arms. Okay, and this is another side I wanted to see, or I wanted to show you guys kind of his, his running cycle. Um, he does kind of allow the leg to get a little bit back behind him, especially on the left side. You know, you can see where he pushes off. It's a little bit back behind him, but, you know, overall... Um, he's able to make it work because he has a little bit more length. That's what the big advantage is of having, you know, being a little bit tall. I don't know exactly how tall he is, but, you know, when you have a little bit more length, then when you drive through, even if the leg gets stuck behind him, he's still able to get that heel to the butt before the knee crosses, the, the back knee crosses the front knee, and he drives that knee through, and he gets that extension in the knee right there, and then pulls back. This right here is one of the most important things you got to be able to get to. You got to be able to get that knee to extend, and then 
be able to pull that back and make it so that that foot lands underneath you and you can drive off that leg okay and he does that very very well on both sides you can't see it as well here because of the it gets in the way but you can still see that he gets to that same level where he's going to go and he's extending and now he begins that pull phase and you just know the right leg looked like the more efficient leg anyway so that look you know that one's going to be going well and you can see too when he pushes off the, the right leg he does a better job of getting it right up to from the heel to his button he's, he's pushing off that that toe a little bit more effectively in comparison to the left one he doesn't push off that toe as effectively so that leg gets stuck a little bit behind him but you know overall he's still moving fast he's still running fast he still has so much great potential just because of you know how um how strong he is how powerful he is and he still has some mechanical things that you can work on i mean i think a big thing is going to be that left foot and um you know what we have to just think about overall is how symmetrical are we how how well are we able to move on one side to the other side and if you watch yourself run and if you have you know your foot turning out and things like that those are small things that are from one to, to the other um I mean, from one side to the other that could significantly in increase your chance of injury which is almost sometimes more important than performance making sure that you're going to not get injured because if you have injury problems now you're not going to be able to get out and and perform so you know i think the big thing for tyrese you could get from this breakdown is how are some some ways that we can get um some good injury prevention type stuff which would be you know how to ensure you're not putting too much strain on on muscles you know, we're, we're watching here on the left side. So this is just putting a lot of strain on the outside part of the leg, also putting a little bit more strain on the inside part of the foot, you know, even into the shin. So he's, there's a shin splint thing that you can get from here. You can get plantar fasciitis at the bottom part of the foot, and then you could also increase your chance of having a bicep stuff. So um, yeah, it's, I think it's a great injury prevention video here. You know, overall, I think Tyrese is, is, has so much potential. He's only in the 10th grade, right? So he's, he's going to be able to work on his mechanics. He's very raw, um, and I'm excited to see him continue to grow. And as he grows, I think he's going to end up being a very, very uh, elite sprinter within the, uh, you know, the sprinting community. So um, as always, guys, thanks for watching the, these videos. We, we just finished the, uh, our, our um, sprinting book. I know I've been talking about that for a little bit. Um, we're going to be able to, we're getting all edited and everything. It should be released in the next few days. Very, very excited about that. Um, you can go and check out more about our, our sprint breakdown, send in your video. We'll break it all down for you. We'll give you exercises to do, make it so you can be the, the best sprinter that you could be. Um, and put a big focus on again, performance, making sure you're not going to get injured, whatever the case is, we want to help you achieve your goals from a uh, athletic standpoint. So yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching these videos and we will see you soon.